when you first start using your 3D pen and struggle with surfaces that look like this, it may be hard to imagine you can have not just a smooth surface, but one with any design you can come up with. Perfectly customized to your project, without having to paint it on later. Also perfectly scaled to the size of your project. Dream come true. Let me show you what I mean. I know it may seem a little counterintuitive to start with the finish, but there is a good reason for it that I will show you in a second. Look at all these colors the filament comes in. Let's paint. Okay, why should you start with the surface finish first? To get these patterned colored sheets, you will have to heat treat them first to make them smooth either by baking or ironing. And because if you bake 3D object, you will get a puddle, all this has to be done while the surface is still flat. And then we can deal with making it 3D later. We'll start super simple with a triangle in three colors. One for each side. How convenient! Make the initial triangle a little bigger than the pattern because the edges will eventually get trimmed off. I will put one color starting from each corner. To create your design, think in reverse. Whatever color you want to show the most on the surface of your project goes down first and then the rest on top of it. The second color will show less and whatever goes on last will be the background color and it will dominate the reverse side of the sheet but barely show on the front. Now, how do we get from here to a solid sheet? See, these strands are pretty flimsy, not even attached to each other. Let's start with ironing, because baking is a slightly different story. There is an ironing video linked in the description if you need to get the details. Put the piece down on a Teflon sheet, the front side down. Cover with the second Teflon sheet and set the iron on it and let it sit for a while without moving the iron at all for up to two minutes. The time depends on the size of your project and your iron. Don't ever walk away from it. I always set a timer to remind myself in case I get accidentally distracted. When the time is up, check the whole stack against a light source for holes. This is just a plain black sheet, but uh, you get the idea. If there are holes, keep ironing. If you don't see any holes, level it briefly on both sides and stick it in between two marble tiles to cool quickly and prevent any unwanted warping of the sheet. Hot plastic will stick to the liner, so cool it completely before removal. And here we go. We have a solid finished surface with a pattern. No need to smooth, sand or paint. Just trim back to the intended size. OK, now we can go 3D. Time to trim and assemble. This veneer is relatively thin, so it can still be cut to size with scissors. The thickness of the veneer depends on how many layers of plastic you put over each other, how densely and so on. The bigger the veneer sheet, the harder it is to make it flawless. So start small. Make sure all your parts are the same size and we'll assemble this just like we did the octahedron in the seamless surfaces video.
the thin veneer is really easy to assemble precisely. So the edges hardly require any cleaning. However, the resulting shape could be pretty fragile. So if you need, you can make the whole structure sturdier by adding an extra layer or two to the inside of the shape while you can still reach into it. These corners are almost clean enough to leave alone, but because one or two have more of a black line than others, I will heat seal them attempting to make them all look the same. And then we'll need to clean and sand the seams a bit, but that's pretty minimal cleanup compared to some other methods. I will also level the bottom of this roof, so I can attach a base to it made from just plain black veneer. Not much of this is going to show, but it will make it easier to attach the roof to the tower. Here we go! Leave me a comment if you need to see how to make the brick texture too. Obviously, no technique is best for every single project. So when would you want to use veneers? This works best on projects that start from flat planes. The way to think about it is to ask could this project be made from a sheet of paper? Even some curves, like tubes, can be. And the same can be said for cones. Starting with flat sheets is ideal for boxes, basic geometric shapes, or small architectural projects. So if you are into model railroads, doll houses, fairy houses or Christmas villages, this is your technique. But if you want to make a small intricate sculpture of a character or an animal, let's say a lizard, you will want to take a different approach, like this one. So check this out next and if you need to know more, subscribe!